infinite limits. Some of you may have heard this term in calculus classes with graphs and equations. Philosophically, one could say that human ability is limitless, but what if our foolishness also is? Albert Einstein once said, two things are infinitive, the universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the former. The wording is quite harsh, to be honest, yet we have to agree, it is somewhat true. We are constantly striving to improve and progress, while some of our mindsets may be obstructing the way. These disempowering mindsets may or may not help us change the way we experience the world. For instance, when one says, stupidity is a psychological term. No, it's not. When one says, I want no worries, no discomfort. No, definitely not. Or when one says, it's over, I can't change anything about it, I'm done. Of course not. Think of it this way. Stupidity might be a social term. Carefreeness doesn't always mean positivity and reflection matters. These are the three lessons I've learned. And if you do have these disempowering mindsets, think of a way to change them. So, hello, I'm Ling, and my topic today is focused on unconventional views on conventional views. First, let's start with stupidity is a psychological term, but no, it might be a social term. If every age has a set of beliefs that people subconsciously embrace as true, then groups and organizations are no exception. Look at your group of friends. Look at your family. What are some beliefs these people tell you? Or look at yourself in the mirror. What are some beliefs you tell yourself about your abilities, your looks? Back in secondary school, I was in a specialized math class at a well-known school. The thing is, my classmates and I studied days and nights. It was instilled in our minds that good grades equal success. I mean, real success. Our homeroom teacher always said, as we are in the specialized class, we have to be better than other students. Then I moved to Vin School, where I was exposed to a completely different ideology. It did not make sense for a 12-year-old girl to stay up until 1 a.m. to do assignments. But at that time, I willingly accepted it because all the people around me were doing the same thing. So, how to break those subconscious beliefs? The key here is to point out those first. And how do you step out of the box? Seek new people and new perspectives. Now, it may seem a bit vague, isn't it? But you can start easily. Begin today by striking up a conversation with someone at the cafe or saying hello to someone in the elevator. By doing that, it's gonna take some guts, but you can take baby steps because the random people you met have unlimited experiences. They all got their own life story, and every time I walk out of a conversation with strangers, I got a new point of view in mind. And it has led us to the second point. I want no worries, no discomfort, but no, guys. Being carefree doesn't always mean being positive. What's different is that Positivity includes the acceptance of and perseverance through negative emotions. Being carefree simply means not to care, to be free from responsibilities, worries, and troubles. Those are two completely different terms. But development comes with discomfort. So um, in the first half of 2022, I was carefree. I went to school every day to create wholesome, joyful memories with my friends. Um, it all started in the first half of 2020 when I was the representative of my school to join this geography qualifying competition, which I screwed up. I studied for months and still failed miserably. But how did I choose to react after that? I said no 
to negative emotions. I want no more of that. I want to escape them. And it has led to the first half of 2022 I've just mentioned. I was having pure joy for sure, but I had no achievements. It turned out to be a coping mechanism like walls from negativity I surrounded myself with. So um, next, I want to um, give you a little disclaimer though. I am not implying that you shouldn't be carefree. We all should rest and be free from worries for a day or two. You should not do it for months or for years, you know. Don't make it like an infinite hobby. Because positivity means to embrace and coexist with all our emotions. You must have heard of a famous saying, no pain, no gain. And it's indeed true. In the right context, negative emotions like regret, anger or jealousy are perfectly normal. Acknowledging and embracing negative emotions is a sign that you are one step closer to your goal because discomfort foreshadows changes. And when you have finished a course of action, is it on your mind that it's over? I can't change anything about it. I'm done. But no, guys, reflection matters. Reflection is a process of exploring and examining ourselves or others' perspectives, attributes, experiences, and actions. We witness many stories each day, and how we react to those implies what our strengths and weaknesses are, and also who each of us are. Let me share with you how I've been journaling for 10 months. Initially, I just thought of it as a way to document my life in a written form. Perhaps this is my third or fourth try, but now it really feels like a habit that I spend 15 minutes each night writing and reflecting on my actions throughout the day. At the end of the month, I would turn back a few pages to reread, and those few pages always prove that I've been changing so much, even in such a short period of time. I started to know myself better and to actively ask more questions. Why did she act like that? How does that correlate with all her behavior before? And why did I react like that? What would have happened if I had said something different? Reflection enables you to move from just experiencing into understanding. Two people may have the exact same experiences, but one let it slide and one draws lessons from it, and obviously, you know who's the wiser. Reflection comes in many different forms, from writing to discussing with another person, and whatever method you choose, take a moment to look back and critically evaluate what you've learned. Don't just limit yourself to end each day with a mediocre mindset. So, in sum, the aforementioned mindsets deteriorate our life in general. As human foolishness is infinitive, please always aim for the better. And remember, stupidity might be a social term. Carefreeness doesn't always mean positivity and reflection matters. Because why wouldn't I be here today with that reflection? Thank you. <laughs>